All right, I've scrambled up another, again, not totally inaccessible uh, area of the sand dune arch trail, but also not particularly accessible <laughs> either. Uh, again, I'm pretty fit and wearing like workout clothes, so I was able to get up here and and add all of these sort of things. And these are uh, on limits. You know, this is not uh, off trail. There's not prohibited hiking, and I don't have any gear or anything like that. And these are the the views and the areas of what is, like I said before, quickly becoming my favorite part of Arches National Park, the amazing sand dune arch area with uh, the crevices. I should probably come over here. I can show you where there's, my wife made it up to uh, see where I came down from. You can see how, you, why is it called sand dune? Because it, I mean, it is like walking on the beach. Uh, very sand, and all this is sandstone <coughs> around here. That's why it's this red color and um, has so much erosion. Yeah, look at look at those areas back there. Fantastic. Trying to shoot the video, walk backwards, and talk at the same time is a little challenging but boy is the uh, the reward ever worth it back in these areas amazing amazing look at that and you know there's so many little canyons that just go off in in different directions by no means do you have to come up you know and get off the trail like this to enjoy the um, sand dune canyon area. There's plenty that you can do right next to the the parking lot that is on mostly flat ground. If you've got kids, my mom is is with my wife and I. She's 78 and has had no trouble getting back to a lot of these uh, places. Incredible, just incredible. This uh, unique geologic formations are why this is a national park and why millions of people come here every year, of course. And as, as you can see, it's now about oh, 10 o'clock in the morning, but we've got the place totally to ourselves. Even the regular trail area is not all that busy. Uh, where? Let me watch my step here a little bit. We've got some huge boulders over there, but that's pretty much where I came up. And it, it's not as bad as it looks. Um, but as, as you know, arches obviously is about the arches, but I love these canyons and the big spires. You know, that to me is more <laughs> interesting visually uh, actually than the, than the arches. Absolutely love it. And there again is pretty much where we we came through. Come over to another section here and we can look and see, you know, what so much of this area is like. This sand dune arches is <laughs> known for these tiny, narrow crevices and I'll scooch my way back into one here and give you a, a sense of exactly 
what this is like. I've just got regular hiking boots on, nothing fancy again, no like gear or anything like that. But you can get back in here pretty far. And I could keep going, I guess, if I wanted to. This is how you go viral, right? You either succeed massively or fail massively. I think I'm gonna make it. How's that for action? And you can see my wife uh, back down there as we continue to climb and every <laughs> every viewpoint is is better better than the last there she is here's a little hidey hole kind of cave down there well We've made it this far. Should we keep going? Climb up there? That's a piece of cake, actually. It's like stair steps. I'm gonna shoot backwards and walk forwards. And hopefully all of the, um, one of the amazing things, all of this lichen that is up here, and again, I shouldn't be tramping around too much because that's what disturbs this lichen, but to me, being an arts reporter, and that look like a Jackson Pollock abstract expressionist piece, <laughs> he used these colors as well, this, oh, kind of, sandstone matte finish with black uh, paint on it that's autumn rhythm a matte picture i want to say in that color palette there's my wife again way down there that's back where where we were you can imagine look at these up here and oh man wow, look at this but you can imagine during the rainy season and the water just shooting down here <laughs> all that erosion taking the rocks scraping 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 hundreds of years thousands of years millions of years creating these super deep grooves to go too much further into there. That's pretty fun. Great view out onto the, the rest of the park over there. Oh my God, I mean, it's just one amazing viewpoint after another. Give a 360 look around here. Unbelievable. And we are near the top of some of these, obviously. There's our little see through to the rest of the rest of the park come back here got a big section that's exposed in the sunlight oh my gosh I am by no means a you know an adrenaline junkie or a thrill seeker so don't don't think that you know, I've taken any incredible risks to get up here I'm not a mountain climber or anything like that so it can be done if you're in Pretty good shape and I'm gonna give it a give it a try and get to some of these 
areas by the sand dune arch. Oh, that sky, I mean, it looks fake. The blue against these red rocks, it just, it does not look real. But it is, and it's, uh, it's spectacular. We've got a, I'm not gonna get too much closer, but there's a big crevice down there. Look back through, there we go. Ugh, get on my butt when I'm through, that's moving around easier is the more contact you can have with your body and the, <laughs> the rock, the less likely you are to topple over and, and fall. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing, amazing views through these uh, big crevices in the, the rock here. Well, that'll, that'll do it from here. I need to get back down, get on with our second day, watch the, the first day videos, which will be here in the Rovology YouTube channel as well. And uh, hopefully you can make it out or back to Arches yourself.